This episode is sponsored by Simply Safe. I've had it listeners can get a special 20% off any Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect monitoring. There's no safe like Simply Safe. So are we supposed to start the podcast? One, two, three. Nailed it. Excellent. Listener. Pumps is still struggling with her sore throat, so you might hear some rattling and chomping, and that is her throat lozenge. (laughs) No, it's so gross. So that she can deliver the star quality stardom that our listeners have become accustomed to and tune in for. That's right. So there's that rattling of that lozenge. I know. I'm sorry. You're a a, a lozenge rattler. Like an 80-year-old woman. Yeah. You are older. (laughs) What have you had it with, Miss 80-Year-Old Woman? Okay, I, I'm so glad you asked. I'm good. Because I've had it with something you do. Oh, good. So let me paint this picture for you, listener. Okay. You go out with somewhere with Jennifer. She does not activate keyless entry. She walks around her car. She gets in her car. She gets herself settled. She puts her phone up. And all the while... You're standing waiting for her to unlock the car. Oh, yeah. If it's 110 degrees yeah, or minus 50 degrees, you're just waiting for her. And sometimes she even forgets. Yeah, that's a dick So over. then you have to, like, knock on the window. So I've had it with you not using keyless entry. Okay, here's the deal. I do use keyless entry. Never with me. Let me finish. Okay. I use keyless entry, but it uh, unlocks the driver door. Only you as can I push approach. it twice. No, because it's in my purse. I don't even have it. It senses. It's a sensor keyless. I I know I have. I don't have too. to push a button. But you know what I do when I have guests and passengers? I take that out of my purse, right? And I double click it. Well, I don't think there's any question that you're far more considerate <laughs> and selfless, and just yes. a better driver, and just a better hostess in your vehicle, right? Than I am. So yes. I, I mean, we can. Joe Estrada, you can let the permanent record (laughs) reflect that Pumps is a better hostess, car hostess than Jennifer. Thank you. Uh, More selfless, uh, more empathetic, uh, more star quality in her car, (laughs) not only on the pod, but also in the car. But that is a huge dick over. Yeah. I do do that. I would have had it with me for that as well. Yeah. Because Josh does the exact same thing to me and I have it when he does it. So I feel your pain and I'm going to tell you this. You're not going to change. I fucked around. <laughs> I found out I'm going to be better. Oh, I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in, I'm going to make some mental notes when driving pumps. I am going to full blown lezzy open the door <laughs> for you. Get you like in. It's a date. Fasten your seatbelt. Close the door. I'm gonna do. I have on my my smartphone. I can start my car in advance. Cool it down. Yeah, you won't even believe the about face that's about to happen. Oh, I, I'm so ready for it. I'm gonna rectify. I fucked up. <laughs> I'm gonna rectify because that's how it. important you are to me. Thank you. And the comfort of you being in my car and wanting to be with me <laughs> is that it will be a top priority for me personally. <laughs> to change this behavior because I love you. Oh, well, I love you too. Thank you. I look forward to our next outing. You're welcome. Anything else I can help you with today? That's it. That's it. You've just made all my dreams come true already. Thank you for tuning in to I've Had It. (laughs) Efficient problem solvers, empathetic. You got a problem. I fucking fix that shit. That's right. Rectify. Rectify. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. I will do better. You're welcome. Listener, this has been a masterclass on conflict (laughs) resolution (laughs) skills among friends. Okay. Thank you for coming to our TED Talk. Let me tell you what I've had it with. Okay. There's been a huge oversight on our part. Oh. Huge oversight. We've discussed public restrooms. We've discussed airplane and airport culture. Right. Okay. We've beat that dead horse. I mean, that motherfucker's had 25 (laughs) funerals. We beat both instances so hard. Right. But we have been remiss, my friend, in discussing airplane bathroom etiquette. (laughs) 
Oh God! You killed her. I, I'm dying. But she's dead. No, that's true. So let me let me unpack this for you. Okay. Let me paint the picture because everybody's going to be able to identify with this. When you live in a city like Oklahoma City, which isn't like a New York, Philly, or Seattle, you have these smaller what they call regional jets that take you into your city. They're not big, you know. 747. No, or whatever. no, they're little planes. And oftentimes these jets, smaller regional jets, only have one potty in the very back of the airplane. Yes. So that means that men use it, women use it, the pilots use it, the flight attendants use it. Everybody on that airplane uses that one hole. Right. And so here's what I don't understand because I try to leave the airplane bathroom in a manner in which I would like to receive it. Agree. Okay. Oftentimes I get on this little tiny airplane bathroom, which is a, a Petri dish uh, of epic proportions. Yes. I mean, it is the breeding grounds of probably the very next 15 pandemics. Yes. Are agree. being bred right now in those <laughs> airplanes. I mean, COVID, everybody thinks China did it. I guarantee you it was a regional jet airplane bathroom I'd have to agree. on its way to Oklahoma City. <laughs> yeah. So I walk in, you know, and you know how those airplane sinks, you wash your hands and then the water stays in it and you have to self drain. Yes. I walk in, much to my surprise, the sink is a goddamn mess. Nobody's drained it. That's happened to me. It's the worst. Nobody's drained it. Splash marks all over the place. Toilet seat, the lid is up. Yep. The seat is up. You can tell there's Ugh. just a big ruckus going on. Toilet paper strung all over the place. The paper towels aren't properly in there. So I have to first, before I can relieve myself... Do the other person's work for them. Yes. I have to take their job over the finish line before I can even start my job. You have to because you don't know. I got to get, I got to drain the sink, yep. wipe it down, wipe the countertop, wipe the lid, wipe the seat, get all the tissues in order, get everything in order, and then I can begin. No, I feel And you. then I do my thing. I wash my hands, the sink's full, and then I have to do it all over again. And I leave the bathroom, the airplane bathroom, with the seat down. Agree. It's completely down. Nobody's going to walk in and see that hole on my watch. No. Nobody's no. going to see a sink <laughs> full of water on my watch. Nobody's going to see the hand towels half in, half out on my watch. It takes all of five seconds. Just go ahead and take your hand and push those in there neatly. And everybody is just horrible on these airplane yeah. bathrooms. And I have fucking had it. The trash, like people had stuff, you know, it, it, all you have to do is like push it back a little bit and it drops in a hole. A half in, half out. A half in, a half yep. out. I'm yep. just like, it's not that hard. I'd forgotten about push that it. one. Just push it all the way. I totally forgot about the half-ass thrower awayers. I can't stand it. Take it over the fucking finish line. And here's the situation, listener. You know when you're waiting in line who comes out. Yes. And then more than likely you're going to pass them. Right. And you're going to see them so people know. Whereas a public restroom, you have no idea right. what monster left it in disarray. Right. You can't pick it out of a crowd. But you're stuck 20,000 plus feet with that person above the earth and you know who it is. Yeah. And so I want to talk about remedies. I don't know what the remedy is other than like the flight attendant taking a peekaboo before they let you out. I don't want to put that burden no, on, the, you're right. on the flight attendant. They have I, too I'm much. wanting to go a little bit more. I'm wanting to go a little bit <laughs> sassier here. I'm not wanting to snitch. I'm not. You like to go to the flight attendants and snitch, and I want to go for the permanent record. I'm not a snitch. Pumps is the snitch. I'm kind of thinking something like this. Okay, I go out. I clean the person's mess. <laughs> I take care of my business. So then I'm thinking, okay, I've waited on, let's say her name is Debbie. I've waited on Debbie. She leaves it in complete disarray. And as I'm walking back down the aisle, <laughs> I could evil eye Debbie yeah. and go, Debbie, just out of curiosity, is your home bathroom that messy? Because <laughs> I went in after you. And it was a goddamn shit show. It was a pigsty of epic proportions. And I'm certain that COVID 2023 is breeding in there. What do you have to say for yourself? Or you could just like open the door up and go, hey, fat ass that just left the bathroom, <laughs> come clean up your shit. 
There we go. I mean, that's this is what happens. This is what happens when you fly a lot. You know, see, the thing is, listener, I would never confront Debbie, but I love a fantasy ash chew. I love a fantasy ash chew. I love to chew people out in my mind. A fantasy ash chew where you just rip somebody up and down in your mind. It's so satisfying. And I thought, you know, this is a place where we can fantasy ash chew together. Yes, I know. I, I'm a huge believer in fantasy ash chews. Fantasy ash chews are so satisfying. Kylie, do you fantasy ash chew? Of course. Oh, yeah. Like out loud in the car, out loud in the shower. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Do you ever do it to us? No, never. <laughs> I don't believe Our 28 year old mom would never do that to us. I don't know. Welcome to I've Had It, where fantasy ash chews are welcome, supported, nurtured, hugged, and petted on. I'm Jennifer. I'm Angie. She's the star. First off, I want to say I have never in my whole life been in an airplane bathroom. What? what? I've avoided it. I, I stay dehydrated on purpose. <laughs> I can go four hours, five hours on really? that flight. Never step foot in an airplane bathroom. That's impressive. Thank Hang you. on. I want to explore. I like this. Staying dehydrated on purpose when traveling. Yeah. And all the time for me. <laughs> but. All that coffee. I like it. This is a huge reaction, I think, to the um, big water bottle community people that we bash about all the time, you and me. I'm the opposite. Yeah, you're that. definitely the opposite. Yeah. I love it. Dehydration by design. Yeah. Fuck you, hydrated people. <laughs> She's getting dehydrated on purpose. The opposite of thirst trapping. The yes. opposite of thirsty. Yeah. Listen up, listener. We're going to teach you a lot of life skills here. That's a good one. A lot. Clean that fucking airplane bathroom. Yeah. And by God, to avoid it altogether, dehydrate yourself entirely. We are talking Sahara desert dehydration put it in the permanent record we support it <laughs> we're gonna have to put a health disclaimer after this yeah no shit oh you don't you know people that is so dangerous i'm so worried about kylie's kidneys and it's just gonna be the comments and it's just like quit taking us so seriously people all right do you want to hear something on social yes yeah so we posted a video ragging on america instagram mom culture right? oh yeah as yeah, you they recall suck. yeah we got a comment from Dirty D. <laughs> she said, sorry, you're 173 years old <laughs> and you've forgotten what being a new mother is like. And the internet didn't exist in the year 18 AD. You know what's so good about these comments is you immediately know that she posted a video saying, thank you, little McKaylee Lou Jasmine yes cherry pop all spelled fucked up for picking me to be your mother for choosing me you 1000% know like because she just identified herself dirty D we know that you yeah. are trying to skirt raw dogging she's a raw <laughs> dog skirter it's a raw dog skirter and I want to make a list of those people who are the raw dog skirters because we know you raw dogged dirty D <laughs> I've had clients that um, in paternity cases where they're like, I am not the dad. Like we did not have sex. I'm like, okay, well, the test will tell us. And then turns out he is the dad. It's like, well, you were raw dogging. You raw dogged. Because that just can't happen. Yeah, Dirty D, you know what? Dirty D was probably doing some reverse cowgirl pegging shit <laughs> because she got especially triggered by that video so we know that it was i mean a porn level performance <laughs> that she conceived Mackenzie lou we know it immediately dirty d we know what you did and we support it go for sorry it sorry that you don't thank you for that kylie okay so our guest today okay so this is something that you know that show gossip girl yeah so like the thing of it is like so somebody is sending all this gossip out, right? right? There's a real life gossip girl on the internet. Really? Yes. What does she gossip about? Celebrity shit. Oh. Okay. And like, so people send her photographs of like, maybe here's Tom Brady and Kim Kardashian. Okay. And they're at some party where, and they send it and then she releases it. Okay. And she has like 2 million followers. 
Wow. I know. So I, we're going to get to the bottom of all this. I have a lot of questions. Yeah, I've never heard of such a thing. Her name is Du Moi. Du Moi. Du Moi. I have too big of an accent to say. Say it again, pumps. Du Moi. Du Moi. Good job. Okay, without further adieu. <laughs> help myself it was so teed up <laughs> we just crack ourselves up. oh my god no wonder you guys like this podcast we're <laughs> fucking hilarious <laughs> oh my god let's get dieu moi this episode is sponsored by simply safe i'm telling you pumps the security level at your house is finally where it needs to be because you were way too lackadaisical with security prior to finding Simply Safe. I absolutely feel more secure with my Simply Safe system. There's no doubt about it. The 24 7 Live Guard protection is made possible by the new Smart Alarm wireless indoor camera and is available with Fast Protect monitoring plan. They have advanced motion detection and vision AI with Smart Alarm indoor camera, and it can sense the difference between potential intruders and your big Siberian Husky so that you don't have all these false alarms. The technology is phenomenal. We were able to put it in, set it up, and apply for the service in record time. Time. I'm telling you guys, this product is fantastic. Right now, I've had it listeners can get a special 20% off any Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect Monitoring. This huge offer is for a limited time only. So visit simplysafe.com slash had it. That's simplysafe.com slash had it. There's no safe like Simply Safe. You know, pumps, after a long summer and summer vacations, time out by the pool. I feel like, oh my God, I've really got to make it up to my skin. Like I've got to be a really good girl. And so I've discovered Osea and they have this amazing Undaria Exfoliate and Glow Duo. And it's just the thing to rehab sun-soaked skin and prep it for the fall. It's a dynamic duo, much like you and me, <laughs> and they are two of Osea's best-selling products infused with nourishing seaweed and designed to elevate your body care. I love their body polish. I love their algae body oil. It's non-greasy, totally hydrating, the perfect thing to put on after a long, hot shower. It's so good. Prep your skin for fall with clean, vegan skincare from Osea. And right now, we have a special discount just for our listeners. Get 10% off your first order site-wide with code HADIT at oseamalibu.com. Head to oseamalibu.com and be sure to use the code HADIT for that 10% off. Pumps, I have been very surprised these last couple of months because it's like you're calling me to take a victory lap because of your bowel movements. I know, I am so happy with my probiotics from Just Thrive. I actually have normal bowel movements for the first time in my entire life. I, You have not had any emergencies, nor have you been clogged up. I mean, this has been a complete breakthrough in our 25-year friendship. You are a normal person, finally, thanks to these probiotics. And I'll tell you what I've been taking. I've been taking the Just Thrive Psychobiotic. It's completely cut my anxiety down and I'm sleeping much better because I'm feeling far less stress. We absolutely love these products, listener. I'm telling you, this stuff is the real deal. Listener, if you're ready to take control of constipation, bloat, and stress and live your healthiest life yet, you can get 20% off your first 90-day bottle of Just Calm and Just Thrive Probiotic today. Visit JustThriveHealth.com and use promo code HADIT. That's JustThriveHealth.com and be sure to use the promo code HADIT. Welcome, dear moi, to I've Had It. How are you? I'm so good. Thank you for having me. I'm I'm a little bit like fangirling right now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I love this clandestine meeting where you I are do just too. D- <laughs> I feel like we're kind of naughty. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do before we get into our brand of just world class shit talking. Okay, Pumps uh-huh. has been on Instagram less than one calendar year. Okay, so she doesn't know, as we say in Oklahoma, come here from Sikkim on the internet. Okay, <laughs> so. I want you to explain to her and to our listener all about this Dumois account and and what it is and what you do and why we are meeting on such clandestine terms. 
<laughs> okay. Um, well, it's an Instagram account that started during quarantine. The account grew like very quickly, I would say by the end of the year, you know, it had like probably almost half a million followers, maybe wow. almost a million, just by word of mouth. Um, and people, you know, were submitting everything, any type of gossip, any type of encounter, any type of intel they had about celebrities. And I will say, like, in the beginning, it was a little bit like wild, wild west on my account. Like, I was posting everything. Okay, before we get into what you've had it with, I want to so I can better understand this. Let's say that Kylie, our producer, messaged Dumois a, uh, a a note that or a DM that was like, I think Jen and Pumps are full-blown lesbians. I think <laughs> Jen is cheating on Josh. I'm 100% sure they're fucking. And then sent a picture of like me and Pumps hugging. <laughs> Do you immediately post or is there any vetting? <laughs> well <laughs> it's a great it's a great this, one which i mean you just is, be like, okay this is i mean no not i that would that many die people would care but i mean you know for our listeners it would be quite the tea no yeah so um in this specific instance that you're giving i would not post because i don't talk about people's sexuality so unless oh. you guys both were like hey we're bisexual or we're lesbians right um i would not post it but but if you guys had spoke about liking women or being with women in the past on your podcast, then yeah, maybe I would. Maybe so I would we have it. extensively about me being. They want me to become a lesbian. Extensively, pumps. Oh, is, okay. Then pumps has <laughs> had one erotic dream her entire life, and it was with a female basketball <laughs> player. We've talked about this multiple times. <laughs> I don't want to belabor it, but I just think it's very compelling. Do what have you had it with? So I made all my. I've had its celebrity focus okay, and excellent. since that's what I have to deal with on a daily basis. And the first one it I that I've had it with like up to my ears, I can't stand it when celebrities post cryptic quotes <laughs> on their Instagram stories. And then all the fans start freaking out. What does this mean? What is this about? Are they, you know, are they breaking up? Like, who are they talking about? I can't stand it. No, I agree. It's like you want attention, so you throw it out there, but you want to be a secret so everybody will ask. And this is this is epidemic from celebrity all the way down yeah. to, you know, your fucked up neighbor, Becky. You know, right. who, who right. does this great grandstanding secretors, grandstanding secretors. That's they are the great. So when you, you have celebrities that are doing this and they're posting something cryptic, like that, they're going to have a stage five meltdown, which we're all chomping at the bit, getting our needles ready to inject it right into the veins. And then it ends up being a nothing burger most of the time. Or you just never find out what it's about. Like my favorite ones are when they post about betrayal. <laughs> right? so have, like a quote about like someone betraying them and everyone starts messaging me like do what is this about do that's what people call me since I'm anonymous they call me do for Demois. um what is this about what are they talking about and I'm like I don't fucking can I curse yeah oh yes uh, I don't fucking know I have no fucking <laughs> idea what they're fucking talking about it happens all the time I can't stand it either just say what you want to say or don't post it because you know what you're doing agree you're Especially with the celebrity. They absolutely know everyone's going to freak out. I'll tell you what I've had it with on that particular subject is when people like we're getting a divorce, then they do a little grandstanding and then they're like, but we want privacy. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. I'm that's like, my next one. Oh, that's my is? next one. Yes. Celebs that post all about their relationship yes. throughout the relationship. And then when they break up, they're like, can you please respect our privacy? Right. Like you blew that a long time ago. My favorite is when it's like reality, like we were on a reality show several years ago. And so when you sign up to do that, you're signing up to put it out there. It's not like you're an actor that has this skill that you're honing and then you go back into your hole and live this private life and, you know, go you know, to environmental marches and all this stuff in your spare time in third world countries. I mean, when you sign up to be on a reality show, you're fucking out there. And it's just unbelievable when the, you know, the wedding was on TV, the engagement was on TV, the gender reveal was on TV, all this shit's on TV. And then there's this huge scandalous breakup. And it's like, please respect our privacy. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, are you fucking serious? Nothing about you is private. Right. 
Exactly. Like you're, we, we're, we're bought in here. We're all chips in on this thing. Take it over the finish line. Yeah. We all think we're part of the relationship. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no, hundred percent. Especially with fans who have like no boundaries, like right. when it comes to celebrities. Right. So wh- speaking of you guys being on a reality show, can I ask you a question? Yes. Sure. What do you think of, and I don't know if you've spoken on this, um, Bethany Frankel's crusade to corral all the ex reality stars to speak up on shooting conditions. Yeah, I don't. We, here's the thing about us. Like we were on a reality show and we were on Bravo. Bravo was very good to us. Evolution who shoots the Vanderpump uh, rules show shoots Beverly Hills housewives, OC housewives. That was the same production company that shot our show. They were so nice to us. You know what, what is going on. They have all these like labor laws where they have to, take breaks and you can't film too long even in Oklahoma where like nobody respects any sort of anything like that <laughs> right <laughs> you know it's just some hippie liberal shit you're taking a lunch break so we had a really good experience but we don't I don't really follow reality TV I don't watch reality TV like I need to watch fucked up religious cult shit to make me feel normal and like a really good person so I don't watch much of it I've seen some of that but my thing from what you just said, my thing on that is, if you don't want to be exploited, don't sign up to be on a reality TV show. It's 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 simple. It's not that big of a jump to see that reality stars get exploited and they're trying to get those gotcha moments. I mean, but another thing is we didn't drink. We didn't get like drunk and say stupid shit. So that's, I think, probably why it's... I mean, when somebody's drunk and throwing a fit, that's perfect for reality television. Totally. So we didn't have co- like conflicts with them about stuff like that. We knew when we signed the contracts, like, do not drink while the cameras are up. Right. We Full always stop. Give us some scoop on that. What is her what, crusade? Yeah, what's the deal? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. There's a headline comes out about it every day. She just decided to like form a union of reality stars <laughs> to, and I, I think it was inspired by the strike writer strike you know, right yeah. by the writer strike but I think it's good what you guys said about evolution because you know like they they produce all of those shows that you named and I'm sure those are hot buttons yeah for Bethany's case all the reality all the uh, housewife reality shows right the breakup between the mess and of all and of all and that that whole thing but I mean I look at that and think that behavior could have been avoid, avoided entirely. Right. Like, Don't I, fuck your best friend's boyfriend. Right. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Like, like one thing that we recently talked about on our Patreon, we have like a documentary club, is the, the Duggars, the Shiny Happy People, the Duggars documentary, which Pumps and I like ej- injected into our veins, couldn't get enough <laughs> of it because they're so fucked up. And mm-hmm. so the... TLC filmed that and they basically paid Jim Bob, the fucked up dad that had all these kids. And some of the kids were over 18 and they didn't like advise them. You need to get, this is your money. They didn't give the check in the kid's name. And so that is a level where I would be totally like that network completely exploited these kids that were raised in a cult, abused, religious nuts, the full nine, but like white privileged people that have made a lot of money off of reality TV. Like, I don't know. I mean, sometimes I'm just like, there's a bite the hand that feeds you type thing. And also it's the easiest thing on the planet. Don't drink on TV. Don't be on TV. I mean, there's a million other things you can do. So it's hard for me to like have empathy for that. Can I ask another question? I don't know if you want to answer it, but did the production company ever encourage drinking? Never, never. Not I one think that's, time. A, that's important to hear from you guys, because I'm sure that that's going to be one of the um, sticking points. Well, I mean, I, I did watch the old New York housewives religiously, and I can tell you the best content was when they were all fucked up. Right. And I don't listen. I don't think production needed to encourage those ladies. To right. Drink. So, I mean, but I'm saying like with with other shows, maybe The yeah. Bachelor or The Bachelorette. I don't watch that show, but 
Um, oh, I'm sure on that. So they'll oh, get yeah. down. I think that there is a level in the industry of getting really young people, early adulthood, where they probably get completely schnockered. They're fucking, you know, whoever the bachelor is or whatever, you know, which is that's a whole weird thing anyway, where you're dating like 20 people at the same time. But again, do I go back to you are putting yourself into that, right? It's it yeah. is. This is not a marginalized group of people. This is a voluntary action that you're doing to to receive money and they're so I mean I I in the in the instance of the Duggars I feel like the kids they the, were those exploited. girls I feel like they were exploited by the network maybe some of these you know 20 21 22 year old girls that just want to be on TV because I was such a moron in my early 20s oh my gosh and the I, worst thing that could have happened to me would have been on a show like that for sure I mean the fucking train wreck yeah no it would have been bad Okay, so let's talk about the paparazzi. We live in Oklahoma City, and as you can imagine, we're ducking paparazzi left and right. <laughs> I was like, I don't even know if they have That's it a Oklahoma. joke. We don't have it <laughs> at all. And so obviously in L.A. and in New York, when you see like somebody walking down the street, that has been a tip or the paparazzi has accidentally found them? I think it depends who it is. I've had um, paparazzi on my podcast, so I've talked extensively um, about this with them. They swear that I would say 90% of the images we see are natural. Okay. The, oh, they have okay. The celebrities have not called the paparazzi. That being said, yes, I think if you see certain celebrities walking down a random street – and not an A-list celebrity, like we'll say like maybe B or C-list celebrity that yes, the paparazzi could have definitely called them or if coming out of a restaurant, coming out of a popular restaurant, they the paparazzi most likely have been tipped off depending on who the celebrity is. But I do think it happens a lot less than people think. People don't want to believe it. They want to believe that celebrities have these paparazzi on speed dial right, and are tipping them off on every move that they make. But I will say the thing that I said I've had it with are, are the people who complain about the paparazzi and then they're the ones who call. Paparazzi, <laughs> oh my which God, I think hypocrisy. also does happen. Yeah. I think that I don't want to name names, but um, I think that that does happen a lot. So they do that as cover. Like they've called the paparazzi like, Hey, I'm leaving Carbone in New York at 9 PM. And the paparazzi is like, okay. And then like three days later, like the paparazzi is invading my privacy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or yeah. Or, you know, they'll call them when they need them. Like maybe they're promoting a movie and they want, you know, their image and, you know, their likeness to be out there. So maybe they'll call them then. And, but if the, they're around a time they don't want them around, then it's right. like, oh, like, I feel like I don't I can't say this for sure. But I feel like I can, let, let's name one person. I feel like JLo could potentially be, a be on that list in JLo's very long career. Right. She has been known to call the paparazzi on you, herself. You almost sure. have to think so. Okay. Let yeah. me, let me propose this combining a lot of your habits. Do you think celebrities use the paparazzi to send cryptic messages? Oh, i.e. I'm leaving carbon and I don't have on my wedding ring and I happen to have my hand up over my eye to block the flash bulbs. Yes, absolutely. And this goes back to them, you know, posting the cryptic messages. They know what they're doing. Right, right. I think a lot of a lot of them know what they're doing. Listen up, London. Pumps is coming home. Diana, rotisserie chickens, London, October 11th. Link in bio. Hot shit tour is hitting London. Also, October 24th, 25th, 26th will be Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake. Again, the link is in our bio. Hot shit tour, third leg. Let's go. Let's go. I don't think I know anybody who has struggled their entire life with bras as much as you have it has been the bane of my existence that is for sure you're always ripping your bra off but lately I've noticed you haven't been complaining about your bra and you haven't been taking it off mid podcast so I know something has changed what's going on honey love I love their products I love their bras their control top underwear are the best for the old stomach suck in 
I also noticed that they have versatile leggings, so I ordered some, and they're just so fantastic and comfortable. I love a legging in the fall. Treat yourself to the best shapewear on the market and save 20% off at honeylove.com slash had it. Use our exclusive link to get 20% off honeylove.com slash had it. Cinched, snatched, and lifted. It's hot girl season for everyone thanks to Honey Love. Step into a world of nonstop action on DraftKings Casino. Play the classics like blackjack, roulette, and slots. Plus, enjoy exclusive games you can't find anywhere else. Right now, new customers can get a deposit match of up to $100 in casino credits when you deposit $5 or more. All you have to do is sign up, select the offer, make your deposit, and start playing from a full suite of games. Your way is the only way to play on DraftKings Casino. Play online, on your time, in your space, and within your means. It's safe, secure, and reliable, so you can deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you're ready. Download the DraftKings Casino app now. Sign up with promo code HADIT, and new customers get a deposit match of up to $100 in casino credits when you deposit $5 or more. Only on DraftKings Casino with promo code HADIT. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia. Please play responsibly in partnership with Hollywood Casino at Charlestown Races in West Virginia. All games regulated by the West Virginia Lottery. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 1-888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. 21 or older. Physically present in Connecticut, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia only. Void in Ontario. One per opt-in new customer. Minimum $5 deposit. Max match 100 in casino credits, which require one times playthrough within seven days. See terms at casino.draftking.com slash players choice restrictions apply. Our show today is sponsored by Microdose Gummies. Microdose Gummies deliver perfect entry-level doses of THC that help you feel just the right amount of good. Pumps, you've heard about microdosing, right? A little bit, yes. So microdosing is that just right feeling when your body and mind are really at peace, like after a long workout or a nice long shower, you're striving to feel relaxed, focused, and a little energized. But microdosing also can really, really help you with your sleep. I've noticed that by taking microdoses of these gummies, I am sleeping like eight rim-filled hours of sleep. My sleep is so much better after trying this product. Microdose is available nationwide. To learn more about microdosing THC, go to microdose.com and be sure to use the code HADIT to get free shipping and 30% off your first order. Links can be found in the show description, but again, that's microdose.com and be sure to use the code HADIT. Okay. Do we're going to have a uh, play a game with you called had it or hit it. Okay. So we're going to list some things. If you've had it with it and if you like it, then you'll tell us you'll hit it. Oh my God. Welcome to had it or hit it. I would hit it. Had it. Had it. I hit it every day, sometimes twice a day. Okay. Had it or hit it ranch dressing. Oh, I fucking had it with ranch dressing and Everyone with the big tubs of ranch dressing, like, you know, showing their meals and dipping everything under the fucking sun in a tub of ranch. It makes me gag. Like, I literally gag. When did this happen with ranch dressing? Okay. Like that, I want to know. We're from the South, and yeah. I have to okay. say we're both offenders. Bad. I mean, like, oh. and I can buy into your argument. I wish I could be that cynical about it, Do I envy that cynicism regarding ranch because you're right. It's disgusting. It's, it's vomit worthy. But I do it. I dip my pizza in it, and I can't get enough of it. Yeah. I do too. Well, let me ask you, when did you start dipping your pizza in ranch dressing? As a child. No, see, I remember exactly when I started putting ranch dressing on everything is when we were in college and I lived in a a sorority house and the food wasn't great. So I've been doing it for 30 years, ranch on everything. So you two might be the pioneers of the ranch (laughs) dressing (laughs) fucking craze that I see all over my TikTok. You know, the people on Instagram that hate us love to come browbeat you old fucking ladies are 172 years old. So that is like so on brand with our haters to call us (laughs) pioneers. I love that. Now now when they call us old, we'll just say we're pioneers. We're fucking pioneers, bitch. Pipe down. Listen up, tight ass. Listen up, tight tits. We're pioneers. <laughs> okay. Had it or hit it, spam calls. 
had it. I don't even answer. I rarely answer my phone when it rings with someone I know. So <laughs> I'm not about to pick up a number or spam that I don't know. But, you know, there's a great app. It's called Mr. Number. And it'll tell you spam or potential spam. And then you just block it. See, they come you know, up as spam or unidentified, but then they just keep calling or they leave messages. I block them. I block them. I just say, oh, no, that's no. that's a good idea. This isn't happening. Yeah. I block them or I just don't answer. Okay. Had it or hit it? Shit talking. I mean, hit it. I can't. I can't say. I shit talk all day long. I mean, I do it for a living. <laughs> totally. I, do it, I shit talk on celebrities literally all day long if you really want to like, you know. These sanctimonious people that act like they don't shit talk or shit talk us for shit talking. <laughs> I've had it with like your your response to shit talking can't be shit talking. And then you're like some pure anti shit talker. Right. You're above it. If you shit talk the shit talkers, you're a shit talker. Right. I love that. That's what I'm going to say to all the trolls that comment <laughs> yeah. on my posts. Like, or you know, you know what else I've had it with people that comment on a post like, who cares? <laughs> like, you know, who cares? Like, people, clearly you do. Like, you care enough to fucking comment. So it's like, <laughs> why are you t wasting your time? Who cares? What, or do you realize like all you do is talk about other people? Like you're you're following my account. Do you realize you listen to me talking about other people? Like you know my, what I mean? Let's just go to the default setting of why do you have a phone? <laughs> you know, if you're so exactly. butthurt about all this shit, eliminate your phone. Right. <laughs> Don't get on the exactly. internet. Exactly. Okay. Had it or hit it, astrological signs. I, I'm gonna say I'm in the middle. Like I do. I I'll hit it, but I've also had it with people taking it too far. Agree. Where like, you know, their daily, you know, live, their daily activities will like revolve around whatever moon or sun or thing is happening in their charts. So I'm in the middle. Can I be in the middle? I'm yeah. in the middle. I'm in the middle. But the one thing I've had it with up to my fucking eyeballs are all of the morons that think their life is falling apart during Mercury and retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking take it for one more second of one more day. It needs to stop. They don't understand the science behind it. It's very outdated science wherein early, you know, people that studied all of this, that studied the skies where everything was earth-based, the universe, the earth was the center of the universe. And basically because Mercury is so close to the sun, it looks like it goes backwards, but it doesn't. It's an optical illusion. Nothing fucking changes. <laughs> and there are 95,000 bitches on Instagram. Oh my God, I totally forgot to feed my dog because Mercury's in retrograde. And I'm like... <laughs> You forgot to feed your dog because you're a basket case. The planet Mercury <laughs> has nothing to do with this egregious bad pet ownership on your part. I've had it. I want it noted forever. I mean, every time, if you ever see the Mercury in retrograde, screenshot and send it to me because I'm going to keep a list. <laughs> Wait, are you list. saying, are you saying the retrograde is fake news? That's it's what you basically just said, kind of. It doesn't happen. It, it's it's an optical illusion. It looks like, and so are the astrological signs. All of that was studied before modern science. So they're all based on everything from what they see, how these things move in conjunction with the earth. Now we know the sun is the center of our solar system. And then there's this big giant universe. So all of it is very data junk science. Mercury goes around the sun and it looks like because it goes really fast, much it doesn't take as long for it to go around. It's an optical illusion that looks like it goes backwards, but it doesn't. It's a jet stream of bullshit. I do love my horoscope every now and then though. Yeah. Have you have you ever acted like you had a meltdown because of Mercury in retrograde? Tell the truth. Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> well, that shit. No. Absolutely not. I want to know why you know so much about like the science of she, Mercury. She's a voracious reader. She reads everything. Wow. You, like she's, she should have been a research scientist because she reads all the shit. And she's wow. really smart. I'm kind too. of nerdy. I don't really, you know, we talk about, but sh such shallow and vapid things, but like, I love Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's one of my favorite follows. If you looked at my TikTok algorithm, it's like anti-Trump shit, <laughs> atheist shit. Science shit, French bulldog, t 
tennis and pickleball. Like, okay. I don't even get into the whole celebrity algorithm because I'm so busy with all this other shit. And I think <laughs> right. it's juicy. Like back in the day when we grew up, when I would go on an, onto an airplane before there was like Facebook and Instagram and all of this stuff. I mean, my favorite thing to do was to buy a People magazine and Us Weekly and an InTouch. And I would go through every single one of them on the airplane. Right. But now those are so obsolete because I kind of get, you know, alerts all day. What's going on? You know, Britney Spears, you you see it. It's just kind of ambient noise now. Celebrity, right. celebrity gossip is just kind of like ambient noise. Well, you can mainstream it too. You yeah. go to Do's website and get all Exactly. You I can go That's take right. a hit off that. Thank you, Pumps. Thank uh, you, Pumps. Okay, hold on. I do have one question for you. Are Harry and Megan getting a divorce or is that bullshit? Bullshit. Okay. That's what I thought. I have a very reliable source who says all of that chatter about them getting a divorce, moving was not true. Okay. It just pops up on my feet all the time. See, I hadn't heard that. Okay. Here's your last had it or hit it. Had it or hit it bone broth <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh okay i i like bone broth i i it's it really is a very useful thing if you are feeling under the weather so i i i'll hit it i'll hit bone broth hit it okay i like it i'm neutral I'm, I don't, I okay. don't, I, you know, this is not a hill I'm going to die on, nor am I going to be like, oh my God, I cannot wait to fucking get some bone broth, inject that shit into my veins. I love it so much. I'm neutral on bone broth, but I've just heard a lot about it lately. Yeah, you hear about it all the time. I'm like, bone broth has really made a comeback. <laughs> yeah, it has. Like Brussels sprouts five years ago. Yeah. I mean, oh my God. Yes. And then kale. Oh, like totally uh, made a comeback. Yeah. 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 It's amazing how foods make these major comebacks, you know, because I've I known know. about bone broth forever, but it's totally having a renaissance period right now. And so I was wondering what your thoughts were on it. <laughs> yeah, I, I like it. Honestly, like if you're not feeling well, it really it really does make you feel better. Maybe okay, I'll go good. get some after this. You need yeah, some you pumps. Should. Dumont, thank you so much for telling us what you've had it with. And I think that celebrity gossip is kind of fun to dabble in. Everybody who says they don't is a liar. Everybody right. traffics in it a bit. It's You can't not. Yeah, you can't help but do it. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for having me. It's been so much fun. I'm a huge fan. Oh, well, we cannot wait to be on your podcast. It was so fun to have you. Bye. I love that she seems so normal. Totally. And she, I, I was figuring like hipster. No, she's like, like totally like I could have talked to her all all day. Yes. Loved her sense of humor. Loved it. Smart. And I just think the thing about celebrity gossip is everybody kind of dabbles in it to some extent. Like yes. if you're into football, then you kind of end up Googling what's going on with the football players. Right. And it's just people are interested in other people. They are. Yeah. Especially if you're a celebrity. I, she's cool. I like it. I like, I followed her on Instagram because I thought I want to be more hip and in the know. Yeah. I need to do that. I'm going to know shit. You're going to know shit. I'm going to know shit. Not about Mercury and retrograde. No, I don't want to know anything about that. But also <laughs> I am going to be the whistleblower to do moi. Should you come out of the closet, I will be the source. Excellent. I will be the source and I'll tell her that she can cite me. <laughs> I'm like, you can personally attach me to it. We can do a collab post. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, listener, thank you so much for tuning in. Check out our hot shit tour at a city near you. The link is in the bio. Join us on Patreon. We're doing all sorts of fun documentary clubs, uh, us in the wild, behind the scenes of our tour. Um, so go to our Patreon and subscribe there. Five star, most important thing you could do for us five star if you give us a one star it better be fucking good yeah come with some hate yeah don't give some just one star and some boring statement but we genuinely we do like the five stars and it helps us more than you know pumps tell them when we will see them we will see you next tuesday or thursday or both